Rocketeers, Princess Minnie here. And John. And John's here. Don't you like that intro? It's like so polished it's good, it's good by this smooth. point. Yeah, we really got that down. Uh, so if you're a returning friend, then hello. Welcome back to our craziness. And if you are a new friend, then I hope you like our craziness and you'll stick around by hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell icon. So today's video is going to be a surprise for me mostly yep. um, John has a bag full of Funko Pops that he bought for me and I only know what one of them is <laughs> was, I, I ruined the surprise for myself very much on accident it was an accident John had we, we uh, share a computer and um, I went to go buy some at Amazon but he was logged into Amazon so I saw one of them and it was the best one I Oh no. Well, no, I mean, no, I'm just kidding. It's great. It's great. No, I love it. It's, so I bought her five Funkos that are kind of like I thought were like kind of fun characters that you'd like. And you know, I've been trying to get some new cool Funkos. I don't want to have like a million Funkos. I do feel like that might be where we're going. We have about 20 in our living room. I counted the other day. That's, under 20. I think it's under 20. This might bring it to above 20 though. Oh, you think these are going to be like mainstay living room pops? Oh, I, mean, I hope so. I bought them for Aww. you. Aww. Some I'd like to decorate with like seasonally. Sure. It's the only thing. I think some of these are good seasonal options. You never know. Oh, okay. Cool. I'm really excited, guys. Before we get into this, I do want to do a really quick subscriber shout out. And that subscriber shout out is also to a fellow fairly new YouTuber. Um, but she was my subscriber a long time ago. And then I gave her some advice on starting her own YouTube channel. And uh, so that is going to be to Ohana Disney. And and that's the name of the YouTube channel, of course, Becca over at Ohana Disney. And Becca traded me the last lollipop I needed for my Hong Kong lollipop set. I could not oh, open that Stitch awesome. lollipop to save my life. That's a cool um, set. It's a really cool set. Not as cool as the teacups, but it's a cool set. I prefer the lollipops. Mm -hmm. But Becca was nice enough to trade that lollipop to me, and then we just got to talking um, in the comments a lot, and she always left me such nice comments, and now she has a really nice Disney YouTube channel. She does hauls, which are really great. I love watching Disney hauls. It start, got me started on this whole YouTube journey. Um, she does a lot of Funkos, which is why I wanted to give her a subscriber shout out in this video. It's fitting. Yeah, it's perfect. Um, so, thank you so much, Becca, over at Ohana Disney for being a longtime subscriber and friend. And I love your content, and I hope that people will go check out your channel as well. You are a true Mouseketeer. So, should we start with the one that I already know? Yeah, that I would. This would have been one of the last two. So, there's five total. Try to get kind of like customized cool ones. They don't like intersect. There's not a theme. Oh, I kind of thought once I knew what the first one was that there was going to be a theme. No, I wanted them to be. I'm kind of happy there's not a theme. Yeah, I thought you would be. So, like, I'll show you the character. Careful. Here, you can show them. Okay. So, it is. Wolfman from Nightmare Before Christmas yep. and for those of you who may maybe not have been around for the longest time with with us um, John and I could not have cared less about Nightmare Before Christmas eight months ago maybe yeah right about then and now we are like enormous Nightmare Before Christmas fans like huge and so I think I only have one Nightmare for Christmas pop other than this, which you also bought for me. At Christmas. Which was the Harlequin Demon. Yeah, and I view these two as like a tag team, kind of. That's how I feel. That's why I'm really happy that there's only the two of them. I feel like they'll feel more special yeah. since they're the only two from the movie than if we had pops from like a ton of characters in the movie. Yeah, like I think it's like those two and uh, the monster from the Black Lagoon, right, in the movie. Those three are kind of together, but they don't, I don't believe... They're often together in the movie, yeah. But I don't think the monster's in the set. So this one came in like um, a pop box protector because I didn't know this until recently, but some pop collectors are like very yeah. serious about keeping the box in prime condition, um, which is fine. It's, I respect that, but we're definitely full on display out of the box people. And this is kind of cool too. The seller sent this free gift and it's, it's actually perfect for me since this is one of my main pin collections, Cinderella. It's a Cinderella like card. That's I cool. thought that was really neat. But it's good to keep the box in good shape because this of the pops I got, this one's already getting a little up there in price. I don't know Ooh. if it's because it was like a limited edition set. This was, yeah, so this says it was a specialty series, and I've seen the other pops on the back that you can see which options you can get, but I haven't seen Wolfman, so I guess that means he came out extra special, Could and be. he is super fun. Now, my favorite Wolfman story, though, is that we were talking about characters that we loved, and I was saying, you know, the Harlequin Demon, blah, 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 and John goes, Wolfman, and I was like, Oh my god, his name is Wolfman. I didn't even realize it. Like, I said to him, I was like, how did you know? Do you, do you remember what he said? I was like, he's just a wolfman. 
<laughs> it's not like I like was like, oh, it's Phil. Yeah. And you were like, how did you know the Wolfman's name was Phil? I was like, I literally just described what he was. I was having such a blonde moment. I felt so dumb because I was like, yeah, that makes sense. And then so we watched the credits and I was like, it actually definitely is Wolfman. So that's pretty fun. He has like the biggest teeth though. Yeah, I actually remember from the, I think the teeth are his biggest thing in the movie too. His teeth are freaky in the movie. Yeah, but I still really like him. He's awesome. So what are the odds that they sent me this card and it's like absolutely perfect for me as the collector? It has nothing to do with Nightmare Before Christmas, like that was such a lucky shot. So here is Wolfman in the box, and I do get the appeal of keeping them in their box. I think they're really fun seeing the picture and then the pop itself, but I'm really excited to take this out of the box. And like John said, this one might get up there in price because it was not necessarily one of like the original printed ones in this series, but... I'm not going to be selling this, so I don't mind getting rid of the box. And here were the other ones from that set. This is one of my favorite pops that I definitely own. Some of these I don't like and they freak me out, like this, um, the Oogie Boogie one where he's just revealed to be like a whole bunch of bugs. <laughs> and I've heard that a lot of these topple over. Um, I kept thinking about getting this Jack one, so I do think that one's kind of cool, but I don't like all, some of the other characters. Uh, as like this one or that one. So I love Harlequin Demon and I love Wolfman, so I'm so excited they're going to live together in my living room. Oh my god! Look at him out of the box. That's why you gotta take them out, right? Even if you're gonna keep them in the box, you should at least know all those details. You'd see that big wolfish grin, all those sharp teeth. This is definitely something of nightmares, right? But he's kind of a nice guy in the story too. I love that he's like busting out of his shirt. He has the claws. You know, instead of the flat um, Funko black eyes, he has the green eyes, which are pretty cool. And even there you can see his tail and how he's bursting from the back of his shirt as well. So John was saying this, he thinks it's one of the best ones. I think it's a great one to start with. For Wolfman, he's like taking his third grade class picture. <laughs> smiling so hard. Ooh, am I smiling? I love the super creepy eyes too. I love the eyes. They're really neat. And then did you, did you see how he's like bursting from his shirt? Yeah, he's like way too buff. That's pretty cool. You can really see, he has some weird lines where they put him together. Yeah. But does. we're not going to be looking at the back too much. But the back, I, I'm noticing that in person. Huh. It's weirdly put together. But he's so cute. I love this. And so he, I think he will be an all year pop. Nice. Even though he's right Halloween. -y. He'll be I mean, like a pop. Harlequin just sits out all year now. So. I love my Harlequin demon. So yeah, yeah. they'll be a tag team. Oh, and by the way, I meant to ask you this. Is this, are these because it's my birthday or did you just. No, this is, this is just a normal thing. Oh, thank you. Yeah. It's really sweet. Alright. Hold uh, on. I'm gonna choose the next one. Okay, I won't look. I won't look. It's like a change of pace. I, I, I realize at one point I'm looking in the camera and that could that could tell me too, so I should, I should just close my eyes. Yeah, close your eyes. Hold that on. was really overkill. This wasn't extra helping me not see. Don't put it in your hands. Open your hands. Alright, you're good. Can I at least get like a thought, like what movie it's from or something? Or is it Disney? Or? It's a Disney princess. This is really pretty. It's Rapunzel. And oh, she has so many cool details in her hair. Um, like a lot, or details, and including so many flowers in her hair. She's like fancy flower hair Rapunzel. Oh. I thought that was cool. Is this because that Rapunzel is like the princess I'm most like? I think so, yeah. Oh, that's really cute. Yeah, so what, yeah, what made you get her? Yeah, I think, I think I think of you, like when you love the princesses, and I think that's the one I most associate you with. And I think, like, you're fun, and you're also always seem to have a million hobbies going on. True. Um, you're also, like, maybe quick, I don't know, like, you're you're tough, too, at the same time. <laughs> and you're also, like, very girly. So I think, like, that, like, the flowers in the hair moment is, like, a girly moment for her. That's true. So I think, like, that pop, I think I'd seen a few Rapunzel pops, and I wasn't that intrigued by them, but this one felt really cool. This is really sweet. I can't wait to see this one outside the box. Yeah, that would be cool. There she is in her box. And these are the other princesses that came in her series as well. Let's get her out of the box and see what she looks like close up. Now I have to see if they make a pop of Flynn Rider. So we have John and I. What I actually really like to do is I like to collect pops in sets. In couples, preferably, but if not, I do like to have two from like the same universe or the same movie. So we have Rapunzel with her really pretty dress. And look, she's barefoot. I'm usually wearing socks, but uh, otherwise I do like to be barefoot. 
and she is just massive like her hair really adds so much weight to this pop but before I turn around and show you all the hair details because it's pretty crazy in the back look at all like the pretty details in her skirt and the corset lacing up there that is really pretty and her pose is so interesting as well but look when you turn her around look at that ex flower explosion in her hair that is truly truly lovely are there any other princesses one more oh, okay i because when you said princess i did have one in my head so I'm, I'm interested to see if that's the one you got me then we'll go with this second the next princess next oh i think that's a good idea and the last two are kind of like weird ones so that's kind of fun perfect all right close your eyes hold out your hands one I thought you were gonna get me yep. this is it when I opened my eyes and I saw Rapunzel I was like I loved it but I was so shocked it wasn't this, this one this was gonna be the last one if she hadn't asked for the next princess oh my god it's Jasmine but it's not just Jasmine yep. it's when she is like being uh, forced to marry Jafar yep. as a girl this was like one of my favorite Disney moments of all time. Like Jasmine is already beautiful, but put her in the red outfit and she goes from like stunning to like hubba hubba. Like, I'm gonna keep it PG. Like she's amazing. Like this is one of my favorite Disney moments. One of my favorite, like I love Jasmine anyway, but put her in this outfit and I'm like, I'm over the moon. Oh, this is so cool. Yeah, I hunted for this one because I knew you loved red dress Jasmine. So I, I assumed it had to be out there somewhere. Yes. Oh, I, well, I've almost bought this one several oh, times. Have you? I have. I just have stopped myself. Now I feel like I've been wanting to get a couple of the new Aladdin ones that came out. And now I feel like I have an excuse to. Oh, there you go. Yay. She's so awesome, but I cannot wait to see her out of the box. And there were new um, Aladdin Pops that came out. These are not it. These are older. I really like the Raja one. That would go so well with her. Um, and Abu is really cute. There's one recently um, where Abu is turned into an elephant. And I kind of want to get that one now. This is so cool. Okay. Let's free her from her box. Oh my gosh. She is just pure perfection. Oh my goodness, all her hair and like I just, her pose to me connotes such strength. So I love that. And I love the outfit. I love her little Arabian shoes, her earrings, and look at her hair in the back and from the side. <gasps> that is truly stunning. Oh my goodness gracious. I love this so much. Yay! I really have not bought myself this many times. I feel like, um, you know, my own personal goal to not have like a million pops is quickly evaporating. That's what I've done well so far. Yes, you've been doing such a great job. That's I'm so good. impressed. Thank you so much. I love her. I can't wait to see what's next. Two left. And these are two. Four. I think these are two like weirder choices. I kind of gave you. Like, I gave the two princesses. Now, Wolfman's a weird choice, but for you, I knew it was a hit. Yeah. Okay. So, are you worried I might not even like these? No, I think you're gonna like them, but I think like they're like they're high risk, high reward. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm excited. I'm gonna close my eyes and get ready. Okay. Hands open. Don't look yet. Oh. Oh, I have to look at them both together. Oh no. no okay. Just go. Oh, that's cute. Oh, it's a heffalum from Winnie the Pooh. That is really, really adorable. And he's from a series where I already have a diamond edition Pooh yep. from this series. And I also have, if I don't know if we can see them. Yeah, I have this little Pooh gang right here. And this is the diamond edition Pooh that comes from this same exact series. But then I have a whole bunch of other little Funko Poo friends and that came with a Heffalump and a Woozle option, oh, yeah? but I chose not to get them. So now I still have a Heffalump. That's really cute. And this really makes me think of the Disney parks because I love the Winnie the Pooh ride. Yeah, I was gonna, we, we always like going on it and especially at night because like the last hour no one's on that no ride. No one's on that ride. Like even if you don't love the ride, you can ride it like just keep going around. Although I'm going to be sad next time we do it in Disney World really soon because the Disneyland one is so amazing. I don't, I'll have to, I just want to see the differences. Yeah. But no, the Heffalump and Woozles part of that ride is one of my absolute favorite parts yep. of any Disney ride. So here's the Heffalump, and I was just talking about getting Jasmine the Abu turned elephant, and it looks a lot like this actually. So when I first opened my eyes, I had to be like, 
Oh, no, no, it's a heffalump. I thought it was a boo for just a quick second. Um, and then here are the ones on the back that came with this series. So again, I have this poo, but he's a diamond edition. Okay, time to take the heffalump out of his box. Oh my God, he is way cuter outside of the box. I just can't stop smiling. Look at him. Like, cause I mean, a heffalump's He's not exactly an elephant, right? He's just elephant inspired. But look at like the little ear details and like this um, where it looks like he, you know, has been sewn together and his little arms and legs are so fun. And look at his little pom-pom tail. I'm loving that. Pretty simple from behind, but that's a really fun detail. And then he does have that little rope-like hair at the top. So I'm loving his color scheme. I'm loving the little kind of like smirk on his face with the super high elevated eyebrows. This is so great. You were totally right though. This was like high risk, high reward with such a high reward. Yeah, I think it's cool. so fun. And you know I'm gonna have to just put him right right now into this background. The poo Corner. I'll have to put him, I'll have to add him to Poo Corner. 100 acre wood. There we go, you know, it's, it's so much lovelier like that. He looks great. So, oh, one, one more. more. Okay. Weirdest one. Weirdest one. I love it. All right. Hands out. Not yet. It's so heavy. It's probably, it's probably bigger than the last one. So you can open up whenever. <gasps> it's awesome. I wanted this. Who wouldn't? I think that's such a cool scene, and I- and I think this is my favorite one of all the ones! No way, that's- Well, look at- I can't, like, my mouth can't get bigger. Let me show them first, then. Oh my god, that was so great. He's so great. Okay, such a minor character, but so amazing. It's the sushi chef from Monsters, Inc. Um, when Mike takes his girlfriend to Celia to Harry Housen's. Oh my god, he's just called Chef. So, the, oh, I just, guys, I'm practically lost for words. Here were the other ones from this set, and I've actually looked recently into buying Mike and Sully. Sully from this set is actually very decently priced, but Mike is like crazy. It's like $100 or something. It's ridiculous. And then you can also get Roz and Boo as well. I do not mind, though, having him completely as a standalone character because I want to put him in, I wanted to put him in our kitchen. I'm so excited to have him. Okay, we have to take him out of the box immediately. This is like the best thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh my god, look at his smile. I feel like you couldn't see the smile as much in the box and his little eyebrows. And there's even some great detailing on his tentacles. He has a knife in this tentacle. And I guess he had a little boo-boo over here. Let's see him from behind. Very simple from behind, which is absolutely fine by me. Just, just brings such joy to my life. Like if I had to KonMari my Funkos, this this might be my new favorite one and I would definitely say he brings sparks joy, keep him. This, I can't believe you didn't think this was the best one. No, I did think it was this one, but I didn't know that you would feel that way. I, I'm so thrilled. I'm so thrilled with all of these. All right, well, I feel well. like you really knocked out of the park. You got me all kind of like weird. I mean, Rapunzel's not a weird character, but otherwise I think all of these were so like specialized almost because you didn't even just get me Jasmine. You got her in my favorite outfit. True. You true. got the Heffalump. So we got Winnie the Pooh there. We have Monsters, Inc. So we got a Pixar character. We have two princesses and we have Wolfman. the Wolfman. So we got Nightmare for Christmas. I don't think you could have done better. Oh, well, thank you. This is amazing. I feel so spoiled. I'm glad this went shockingly well. <laughs> I was a little nervous that you like would like hate one or two of them. Oh no, honey, I am so thrilled. Thank you. Thank you so much. I love these so much. He's going right in our kitchen. That's great. He's choice. my favorite. And then Wolfman's going on our mantle. We have a mantle next to our fireplace. Mm -hmm. no, it's on top of our fireplace. It's next to our fireplace. And um, I have um, Harlequin Demon there. So Wolfman will go there. With his mallet. Yeah. And uh, then I have to find a place for Jasmine and Rapunzel. They're good candidates for like a shelf though. They, they are, especially because we're going to be redoing this room this summer. Mm -hmm. And I really want to make sure every shelf, there are 25 shelves behind me guys. I want to make sure every single one looks amazing. So that is a great idea yeah. actually. My shelves are going to start looking like Katie's from uh, my friend Katie from Over the Moony. She's a huge Funko Pop person. Like she's trying to downsize her collection. You can go ahead and steal some. I think we'll have to.
Um, so because you were so generous to me, I think I should give you a present. So do you actually have one? I do have one! Alright. So, I've had this for you for a while, but I've been looking for the best time to give it to you. <laughs> I'm nervous. Hi! It's nice! <laughs> Alright. Alright, here you go. It's from, um, I actually got it for you guys out there. I got it on Shop Disney. It's a t-shirt! It's very red. It's very red. I know you don't love red. It's really cool though. <laughs> you want to show them? It says the flower that blooms in adversity is the most rare and beautiful of all. And so that's a quote from our favorite Disney princess movie, Mulan. That's really cool. And I do like that even though it's red, I almost think it's a little bit of a darker red. It is. It is so a nice dark red. Because red is not my favorite color, yeah. but I, I really like the shirt. Yeah, so it has like a lot of really pretty details. So the whole thing about the, the Wisdom Collection, John, is they take one quote from the movie and they mm -hmm. like print it on like a whole bunch of things. And I don't ever see people getting the t-shirt, but when I saw this, I just had to get it for you. I thought yeah, it was I love really it. cool. That's really cool. Oh, good. And it's like Disney, but I don't feel like it like screams Disney either because no. not everyone would even know what this is from probably. Not everyone reads people's shirts either. True. Like, but this is not, it doesn't have like a big cartoon mouse on it. <laughs> like, I love shirts, so I always have to try to like politely scan shirts without being noticed. But, like, I feel like that's a lot of text to read. People aren't going to read the shirt on me very often. I did get you a small. Um, I'm glad I did because this looks like really big to me <laughs> for a small. It's going to be a wisdom um, sleep shirt. Yeah, it'll, <laughs> it'll definitely, well, you've been working on your muscles and some of your, uh, your shirts are getting tight in the sleeves and the chest. So maybe this will actually be a perfect fit. Uh, could be true. Maybe you'll wear it in Disney. I don't know. So. I'll, I'll definitely take it. So I hope you like this as much I, as I like my Funko Pops. I do. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> So guys, I can't wait to hear what was your favorite thing in today's video, which pop stole your heart the most. And just thank you so much. Thank you so much. Of course. Thank you guys so much for watching along with us. I, I'm pretty sure I would not have gotten five Funko Pops randomly if I didn't have a channel that he could show them on. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> so thanks a lot, guys. <laughs> thank you again so much, and I'll see you real soon.